What are we doing today? Julie, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're playing Where's Home. Where's Home? Oh, that's hilarious. What happened was the. Uh, now, Lloyd Miller did a, did a lot of all these short courses on statistical quality control. And he did over 40 of them. That's what I, that's what I think is the uh, It must have been a lot of work because these were big short courses. A lot of good people here from the industry. They last a full 10 days. Uh, Lloyd probably deserved more credit. Lloyd probably wishes that he had hamming, I suspect. <laughs> anyway, Bob, this is for the for, for 1951, okay, and this, so this was the people at Lloyd Short course there. Bob was a new faculty member then, and he was there. Who could have played well, where's Bob go for this thing, where's Hogan? Who can find Hogan in that picture? Don't look at the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's data. It's data. <laughs> <laughs> see the names of you. Yeah. <laughs> Works great. Bring your people over. That's great. Where's Lloyd Noble? That's hard. I see it. Uh, they think. Uh, fourth one, three, four. Yeah, there, there, there's Lloyd Noble. Dick cheated, by the way. I saw him looking at the name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, well, that's the, that's the usual 
be on a little more firm ground we're going to restrict ourselves to the enterprise space. The source here is going to be the book Best Approximation in Enterprise Spaces by Frank Storch. He was, he was at Penn State. He was a really good friend of Tom Hattonsburg. He came out here in the 1990s for a visit. And I thought it was a really good visit. I had not seen him for a long time. Space and an enterprise. 
Then our next belong to K, we find the different the distance between X and K is the handful for the norm of X minus Y for all Y belong to K. If that's the case, then why not? The why not belonging to K is the best as the best approximation, basically the nearest point to X, if the norm of X minus Y not is equal to the distance there. PKX will be the set of best approximations to x and k. It may be the empty set. It may be make contain more than one point. You really like the best if it contains exactly one point. The notation that Deutsch uses, uh, if, if, if for each x in our space, but has at least, at least one best approximation, then k is called proximal. If it has exactly one approximate, what best approximation, it's called Chebyshev. We like Chebyshev spaces because we've got a unique closest point in K from X. Uh, if, if K is Chebyshev, if K is K of X, what we call projection of X onto K, <coughs> closest point in K from X. If so, it will only exist a unique closest point in the case of the next. What are some special subsets that we need to talk about? Well, one would be the convex cone. That means if <coughs> AX plus V plus, plus BY is back in set C, for, for any X and Y that are in C, and for any non negative alpha and beta is in C. For example, for set of points in R2, where x1 is less than equal to x2, that would be a convex cone. M is a subspace. If alpha x plus beta y is back in M, for every x and y in M, and for any two numbers in R. A subspace is a convex cone, but not reverse. One more. V is a subset of x is an affine set. Alpha x plus 1 minus alpha y is back in our space, back in our set. Remember, x and y is in v, and all alpha belongs to r. Doesn't have to be positive, it can be negative too. You can see that that's the same as straight lines. But these points in the set are back in the set. Here's a theorem from Deutsch. Closed concept subsets of Hilbert space are shared shared. Thank you. 
question. Can you find the projection okay, on, the, on the intersection knowing only the individual projection for all x? Uh, there are other conditions which will guarantee that, 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 that those 